Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a reflection in Adobe Illustrator. So on screen, I've got a new document, 900 pixels wide and 900 pixels high, and I've added a logo design. And you can do this with any shape or icon or logo or even text that you've created within Adobe Illustrator. So we have this here and the fill color has its own swatch. And the first thing I'm going to do is move this up and then go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place, and then go to object, transform, reflect, and reflect it along the horizontal axes and click OK. And just hold shift and drag this straight down. And if you've got your smart guides on, it will nicely snap in place. If not, just zoom in really far and make sure they're lined up. If you want to see where your smart guides are, just go to view and down to smart guides. Very, very useful. Okay, so that looks kind of cool. What we're going to do is select this bottom one now and from the transparency panel over here on the right, if you haven't got that, go to window and down to transparency. And you can either double click here in this space or select make mask. And then you can select release mask to undo that but we're going to make a mask and then just select clip and you'll see it turns this to white and we can still see our shape. So next I'm going to select the rectangle tool. Now this next step, you want to make sure that you've got the mask selected over here. You can see that blue box shows you which bit you've got selected. This is the object selected and this is the mask. For this next step, it's very important that you select the mask because we're not going to be creating a new rectangle on our actual shape. This is going to be on the mask layer here. So with our rectangle tool, let's just left click and draw a rectangle over here. And it doesn't need to be exact, but it does need to cover the entirety of your shape. And you can see here where the shapes join, I've got that a little bit off. If you press command or control Y, you'll go into outline mode. And I could just bring that down just so it's exactly in the right place where those two shapes meet. And we'll zoom back out, come out of outline mode, that's command or control Y. Okay, and we've got this shape here, it's got that same fill color from the beginning and you can see through it a bit. So we're gonna change this now. So at the moment we have our mask layer selected, we have our rectangle selected from the gradient panel on the right. Again, if you've not got that, go to window down to gradient just click anywhere on this gradient slider and it will apply that default black to white gradient. Now the next step is to select the gradient tool on the left and then you can just left click and drag and drag and hold shift if you like to keep it straight and you can choose the direction of the gradient. Now of course because this is a reflection we're going to be going from top to bottom. So we can left click, hold shift and drag straight down. You can do it on an angle if that was, that's what you're going for, but for this tutorial, we'll keep it straight. And depending on how far you drag it down, we'll determine how far the reflection effect extends. But as you can see at the moment, there's a bit of a problem. It's not actually fading into white. And the reason that it's doing that is this, the black that we're using on the gradient slider isn't RGB black, like hex value, hashtag 0000000. 000 000 000. If none of that made sense, don't worry, I'll show you how to fix it now. Just make sure that your document color mode is set to RGB and then deselect everything. And we'll go over to the swatches panel on the right and we'll make a new swatch. So just double click on any swatch. I'm going to start with black and drag all of these sliders to the left and just select global. So now we have pure RGB black, click OK. And you can see here that reference I was waffling on about earlier, hashtag 000000, that six digit number is the reference for this color. And we can click OK. Right, so let's go back to it. We can click on our object, our reflection, and from the transparency panel, great, we've still got the mask selected. And then from the gradient slider we can double click on this black swatch here now remember this is the black that wasn't quite that black before but if you double click this and select the black that we made you'll see it blends it into 
the background into white. And now this is great. We can use the gradient slider to adjust this here. We can adjust the angle. We can reverse it if we really wanted to. Or you can just use the gradient tool from the left and adjust it that way. And you can keep dragging until you get just the right amount of the reflection coming through. So let's say I'm going to go for this. And the last step is to just select clip again. Remember we selected that at the beginning and then switch back over to the object. You can reduce the opacity of the layer mask and in this instance it works, but sometimes uh, it will reduce the opacity of your mask and it doesn't work properly. So for me personally, I like to just switch back to the object itself and then just bring that opacity down and I can bring it down as much as I like. So we'll go for a nice round 30 and then if I want to go and adjust that reflection gradient again, I just have to select the mask and then go back onto the gradient slider and then start making those adjustments all over again. And then once it's done, just drag over everything. Ah, you see, I tried to drag over everything there, but I've still got the mask selected. So just make sure you switch back so you're not editing that opacity mask. We're back to the main document now we can drag over everything and then go to object group and that reflection will now follow the shape around and let's just center that on the artboard and there we go that's how to create a reflection in adobe illustrator as always guys please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below like this video if you enjoyed it take care and i'll see you next time